This is Who's VTuber, the improv comedy show that we do every Friday night here at the Sirens Club for Comedy Night. Strange things to hear from a doctor. I didn't hey! expect to see that and say, okay. no. oh, What is that? That is not what a testicle is supposed to look like. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, and how did you get it stuck in there again? I don't want to talk about it. Awkward moments in the delivery room. Pull! Pull! No, doctor. She's supposed to push. Oh, um, oh, God. I think it's up in her diaphragm now. Um. You can do it, babe. You can do it. I know that when we kissed, we knew that that would be a big deal and that that's definitely how I would get you uh, pregnant with a baby because, like, lip-on-lip -lip contact is obviously the way that that happens. Look, I can't handle seeing blood, so I'm just going to take my mind off of it by proposing to you right here, right now. Hey, everyone. It's Shiloh. And today I wanted to quickly address a recent controversy that has come to my attention. You gotta try everything at least once. That's the law. The law is on my side in this particular situation. And I've always lived by one particular moral. And that moral stands. You've got to try everything at least once. Literacy in different activities is important. And you can only fully grow once you've tried at everything at least once. And the law is there for a reason. I have seen your comments and messages and concerns about Weeb Eminem. I know the comments I made even suggesting that Eminem, this masterfully diligent musical artist, would steep so low as to cater his musical talent to such a low demographic of people. I haven't even watched a single anime in my life. People bully me because of it. Yes, I am a victim in this situation. Not Eminem, me. And for me to even make such a claim is misinformed. Because, let's face it, weebs, if you make something solely specifically driven for weebs, as I had the unfortunate audacity to suggest that Eminem would, know it's gonna be bad. But I recognize that this is a grave mistake, and I've made this mistake, and I understand the impact that it has had on some of you. It was never my intention to hurt anyone, and, well, for that, I am truly sorry. Bad winter pickup lines. Hey, baby, see these nipples? They could cut through glass. <laughs> Why don't you see if they can cut through you? Say, hey, baby, you're so hot. Just like the temperature, it's 32 outside. Damn it! Are you an huh? open fair? Because I want to put my chestnuts on you. Rejected winter sports. It should be curling, but it's not. I know that it's cold outside, but whoever can make their pee, -pee look the biggest and most impressive while it's freezing outside. Huh? Maybe if we get away from the, you know, <clears throat> not safe for work options, you know, I think... I think we could do like, I don't know, see who can make the best snow angel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, in the winter. So yeah. these are things snow. that should- A yellow snow eating competition. Um, <laughs> it's lemon flavored! It's God not, damn. it's really not. Mm -hmm. And unless you're diabetic, it's not gonna taste good. But also- Wow. 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 <laughs> All right, looking for people to stab. You know, just just a little stab, just a little bit. You know, hit him with a spear. Crack this thing up. I, I don't know what this thing is. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't. Why are you? Where are they? I can't figure out where these people are. Why doesn't the game just highlight it? Make it way easier. What the? Crack? What is that? Wow. I mean, you're telling me. Oh. Okay. You're. You're telling me my endurance is good, but I've never even been with a person before. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Uh... Aphrodite. Okay. <laughs> okay. Titties. Wow. Did you guys, did you guys see that she is naked? Give me, give me, give me your boons, mommy. Mother, mother. I'll take whatever you give me, honestly. Uh, just, <laughs> I can talk to women. Yeah. Can you believe they didn't think I could take my head off? Mm. No, I did. I did think that they. I mean, it, they knew that. it's crazy. I mean, uh, um, it's not that crazy. No, it's not that crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you need to. Well, no. no. It, I mean, listen. I'm a maid. No, but no, listen, listen. I can take my head off anytime I want. Okay, I <laughs> no, just don't listen. want to. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but you need to like get over yourself because no, everybody knew that already. Okay, so what? Oh, you know. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean get over myself? <laughs> no, I can take my head off. 
No, nobody, everybody, even you. Listen, listen, watch. Oh, wow. Oh, see? Oh, wow. Told yeah, you I could do uh -huh. it. Okay, yeah, no. You, Look at you this. See it. I understand. Yeah, no. You see, yeah. everyone knew that. Just nobody That's cares. That's why they call me the products that shouldn't have extra strength in them. All I can think of is Bad Dragon, but then my brain, I had like the angel and the demon pop up, and it's like, no, wait a minute, wouldn't extra strength be a marketing point for Bad Dragon? I think they Viagra, won. extra strength. Oh you will God. need to seek a medical professional immediately after consuming, but it will be worth it for about five minutes. <laughs> it will be longer than four hours. Yes. Weird magic eight ball responses. Frank off. Go ask your mother. No, your pee pee small. Oh, Magic sorry. eight ball, daddy, just give me an answer I actually want. Talk to your mom. I'm not telling you again. You're not my dom. You're not my dom. I don't fucking answer to you. Try the fortune cookie instead. I saw you looking at that other Magic Eight Ball. What is the? What do they have that I don't? Are they rounder? Is it because their their physique has that new holographic coating that all the kids are crazed over nowadays? Am I not good enough for you? Is it because I'm out of shape? I'm no longer perfectly spherical after you dropped me down the stairs? Hold on, Who's I need like- that? I, I need a magnifying glass to read that. That's a lot of text on one side of a magic eight ball. Ha, <laughs> spooky. Do you know that I, uh, I ate the sun? <laughs> I could eat you too. <laughs> Vitamin D is very important. <laughs> Uh, D. Do you need more vitamin D? I could put some inside of you. San. San. Oh, that's not me. That's this. <laughs> You're all wet now. I got you wet. I'll do it again. Gorsh. You look a little dry. I think you need a little bit more water. Down on the ground! <laughs> all right. Well, you see, we gotta get ready for November and all. So, what do you mean there was Riz that happened? What? 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 What did they try to raise? What? what? <laughs> I, I said everything keeps freezing, but just raise to wow! What? The power, the Riz, the November. <laughs> All right, chat. So if the next pull is a spear, I'm gonna shove it up my ass. So let's count to three. Oh, uh, so it looks like it. It looks like it's gonna. Uh, well, maybe I guess it's going up my ass. Oh no. Not again. So Chad, uh, you ever been pegged before? It's pretty fun. Yeah. Take a nice dick up the ass. Oh, it's a great thing. Just have something uh, slide inside. Oh, hey, uh, chocolate milk. Hey, enjoy the milk. Take it up. It's delicious chocolate milk. Uh, wait. Um, yep. Uh, no, no. It's not chocolate milk. No, put it down. Put it down. No, don't zoom in on the, don't zoom in on chat. No, get it up. All right. Yep. <laughs> Everything's fine. You ever, uh, been fucking gas before? I promise I don't know this from personal experience. Don't worry about it. Don't look into it. All right, let's go over here and have this guy chop up some onions. I need to give this to that one guy. I kind of forgot his name. Um. Uh. Oh. Oh, I got like four pog. Uh. Okay. Let's go over here. Um. Who was I gonna give it to again? Oh, this guy. This guy. Look. At most, you're like a two out of the ten. If you were my dad, it'd probably be other things. But you know. Uh. Wait. Was it? Was I? Was I still streaming? Oh my god! Oh my god! My mic wasn't. Was like, okay, chat. We're leaving. Um, we're gonna be uh ending stream a little bit slowly. Uh, let's just start over really quick. Just do a really, really, really real quick uh start over. <clears throat> Where were we? Uh, hi. Uh, I'm gonna give these things to you, and uh, everything is going to be okay. We're not gonna talk about my daddy issues or anything like that. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. That's, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're rolling with. Yep. Alrighty, chat. Uh, nobody clipped that. What you did to get on the naughty list. I think there's something wrong with me. I immediately thought shit Quack. in an elevator. Shit I'm so on an escalator. I'm sorry that, that I haven't worst. stopped smelling my fingers, Grandma. I got this new perfume. <laughs> it's kind of sick. Uh, you want to try it, maybe? Oh my what, God, what they do said you, shit uh, on you, an wait, Grandma, what do you mean? Don't you know, sweetie? We all <laughs> can identify each other from our smell. Unusual Christmas gifts. 
I heard that it was really romantic when Van Gogh did this, so I cut off my ear for you. Here you go. I yeah? didn't know it was my ear. I, I cut off something else. Did you? Because uh, we can't see it. It's so Yeah, I know. Small. Listen, this was the smallest box they had at UPS, okay? <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing that I came in with my dick in a box. <laughs> I think that's a weird or bad Christmas gift. It is a beer at Chuck E. Cheese's. Uh, ah, no! Crimson! 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 In appropriate times for Santa to shout, ho, ho, ho. Probably at a strip club. I'm I'm not calling you that, ma'am, I swear. <laughs> it's just kind of my thing. No, no, I respect women very much. Ho, 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 Santa, please, we're at Mother Teresa's funeral. So, Pin Bun, mm. we've known each other for all of two and a half, maybe three hours, and so I thought this was the perfect gift to get you. Some Duke's mayonnaise, <laughs> habanero garlic. Now, I know what you're thinking. Really? Freaking cheapskate? Listen, I'm broke, okay? Times are tough. I'm paying $1,400 for a 900 square foot apartment right now. Money's a little tight, but I still wanted to get you a gift. And what better gift than a condiment that kind of looks like coom? We've talked about coom a good bit tonight. Figured, yeah, get the white stuff. Maybe she'll like that. All right. Undying, my dearest fish friend. We've been friends for almost two years now, and, well, it's the holiday season, so I thought I would get you... Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah. I would get you something that really spoke to the heart about how I feel about you. I got you ass warmers. I mean, hot buns, butt warmer. Let's see. Uh, do not... Oh, this is very... Yeah, I saw this and I thought, hey, if someone needed to be cured of swamp ass, it would definitely be you. Uh, I want you to know that this was in fact a uh, Chinese third party website, so there is no returns. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure if it's 100% safe, but hey, you know what? Why, why live life without risk? For this holiday encounter of gift giving, I want to really encapsulate what is you and your essence and your vibe. So what I okay. got you was the Silver Lily Hamburger Slippers. These nice plush Ooh. cheeseburger slippers can keep those big old dino toes warm during the winter time. No longer will you have to be barefoot traveling the lands. You can now have a nice, soft, warm traction experience with these nice, good old slippers. You gotta really make sure those puppies are nice and toasty this winter. Why a hamburger? Because, you know, because carnivore, the meat, they enjoy the meat. I also exactly. like meat in my mouth. <laughs> uh, well, a Crimson, like you said, we've known each other for like 16 years, right? You know, we go back a long way. And um, I'm not going to lie, that habanero uh, mayonnaise made me tear up a little bit because you know for a fact that, you know, my old dead husband uh, used to snort it and it, his cup <laughs> tastes like that. So I thought it was God very kind of soul. you to... God rest his soul. He was the biggest Burger King. Mm. Um, now, I decided for your gift this year to get you something really special. <gasps> a hearty Van Holten's dill pickle, um, cured and seasoned in my own special sauce. You know me so well. Well, well, Red Mage, we've known each other very long for, for a grand total of like two hours. So I think I have a real idea of what what makes you 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 know so after a lot of like deep consideration i think i finally found what i was looking for i got you pooping pooches white elephant gag gift calendar because if there's one thing that i've realized over the past two two hours there are we have three styles of comedy in this group chat uh sucking dick and poop lots and lots of poop I wanted to make sure that you had a personal connection to each dog. So what way of making a personal by knowing the exact name of every dog? Like Luca <laughs> What's here. What's my favorite? The location. Staring and the, the, location. Wait, the location. Locations. The it's locations beautiful. are so, look, it's beautiful. Look at, look at, look. While they are at the top of a mountain, gazing upon a beautiful river and mountainscape and just taking the wettest of shits. Laz, you big green lug. You're very dear to me, and so I needed to pick something that truly came from the heart. The gift that I have retrieved for you today oh my is God. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> because if there's any 
thing that you know about me is that I'm a sassy, gassy lassie with a fat assy, and I make stinkums like nobody's business. I let off with it's a gift from the heart, but I should have said it's a gift from the fart. Mm. I wanted you to think of me every time you smell the noxious fume, and I think that you could use this to condition yourself to think of me often. I'm, I, my gas is your gas, my friend. I, I want you to know I will treasure this always and I will in fact weaponize this on uh, my next uh, uh, carpool to work. Who's V if New Year's resolutions were enforced by mom? <laughs> Be a lot oh, more no. people at the Gold's gym. I can yeah. tell you that much. They buy that gym membership and they're done within three days. Do they, they just so have their own like individually assigned drill sergeant or something to know them and nag no. them? Worse, worse. It's Gold's gym, so it'd be Arnold Schwarzenegger. They just bam <laughs> breaks to your house. Yeah. Yeah. Going, okay. You can't even the gym. Going, put the cookie down now. I don't know how much that actually weighs. Uh, like two and a half pounds. Like I. Oh. Just now, can we just have Arnold Schwarzenegger enforce all the New Year's resolutions by law? Like, Honestly, someone's like, I'm going to start being nicer well, to myself. And they say something self-deprecating. It's like, no, you are amazing. If the ball drop on New Year's Eve had unexpected consequences. Breaking news, I'm Crimson Casualty, live from Times Square, where the skyscraper on which the ball for New Year's countdown descends has deflated. Apparently, it was an erect penis this entire time. We're all gonna all right. die. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad to be spending this New Year with you guys. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to hang out. This is awesome. Absolutely. I do want to say, I'll start off by saying, it's difficult for me to admit, but... One of my New Year's resolutions is to uh, stop blaming my farts on my dog. Because, listen, uh, Mr. Sniffles, he's great. And he does have some wicked farts. But I, I shouldn't be blaming my own IBS, GERD, all the things that are wrong with my digestive tract on him. And, you know, I had that resolution last year and I didn't follow through with it, but I wish you the best of luck. Um, my Thank next year is to teach cats how to read because Dr. Biscuits is a very smart boy. He's a doctor. I think he can do it. I just have to try hard enough. And then maybe he'll stop scratching me when I hold the book in front of him. One of my New Year's resolutions this year is that, listen, I, don't, I think this gets a bad rap. Honestly, it, it ain't that bad once you give it a try. But, like, listen... One of my New Year's resolutions is I'm going to drink pilk for the entire year. No water, no Gatorade, no Pepsi, no milk, but combined milk and Pepsi pilk. Carbonated milk, baby, with hints of Pepsi in it. Only hints? Listen, don't diss Azura's goal. Uh, Red, what's your goal? Uh I wasn't dissing, I wasn't dissing, I was just asking, you know, I'm writing this down for the books, okay? okay oh, okay, 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 you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Actually, yeah, I wasn't dissing, I was asking a genuine, genuine question, you know, because one of my New Year's, New Year's resolutions is I'm trying to create the cringiest content on Twitch, within TOS, obviously, and I feel like this is one of them. I feel like it's both you know? Yeah, we're happy to help. <laughs> we're happy to get that. Honestly, Red, just send me your schedule and I'll hop in whenever you need it. <laughs> Bad times to forget your own name. Particularly if you're being investigated for something by the police. All right, good afternoon. You are being investigated for double homicide uh, after a bank robbery. Can you start with your name? I, I, yes, uh, crap. Does it start with a Q? No, uh, I, geez, I wish I knew. Hi, I couldn't help but uh, notice that uh, you, were, you were making eye contact with me from across the bar. My name is... My, my what? <laughs> Wait. Things you can say about your lunch, but not your partner. Man, this shit drives. <laughs> that, Go ahead, I, I still stick with the statement I initiated, which is, <laughs> man, this tastes really good. Like this is top tier quality. Ah, <laughs> uh, this must have gone bad like a week ago. Ugh, I can't put that in my mouth. I can't believe I paid fourteen ninety five for this. I really I made a mess eating that, huh? Man, we should have gotten the name brand. I swear, I swear this used to be good like 10 years ago, but then, you know, they really cheaped out on this ingredients. Man, I saw, I saw this, I saw this, and I was so excited, but now I'm just disappointed. <laughs> All right, oh, God, I, God, I cut off the starting soon again. Welcome back, we're playing through the Pokemon Indigo Disc DLC. Uh, You're supposed to catch them all? 
What? Yes! That's, that's, like, that's, a, lot, that's, that's a, a lot! lot that's a lot! That's not so that's many a lot on Pokemon, away, okay? Oh my god! They're like swimming behind you! Oh god, yeah! yeah. Okay. There's so that. many! You got guys. You need to calm down. They'll come back. They respawn. I don't okay? think they're Dude, coming back. I don't. I don't think you I need don't them think... to respawn. What do you mean they're not coming? Yeah, okay. I don't pay attention to us. Pay attention to the shit behind you. You know. Okay. It? All right. I'll go after them. Which one should I go after? Yeah. I don't. I, I don't think you guys understand. My chat's gonna crucify me now because it's like, oh, Crimson missed another shiny. All right. My eyes don't I work that well. Oh my god. Why yeah. can't I get over it's there? A it's a stampede. <laughs> You know, oh, the like, fact that you're failing this is, uh, yeah. Oh, you thought you would be decimated before, I think you would be decimated for sure now. My, con F F F F F F F my controller died. Like, you gotta give me a second. I'm plugging it in. Okay, it's true. Oh, wow, your perspective shifted too. Uh, I know, because my controller died. I guess, but did you like bump into your camera? <laughs> Uh, we are joined today by my friends. We're going to be playing a little bit of uh, Roots of Pacha, which is a farming sim game. Um, see? Yeah. When, did start? when did you start? Are you trying to like step step up on my sort of vibe? My uh, like my mo here? This is this is. I guess you could farm here. I'm just trying to figure out how did you I get mean, all I this like equipment? What a farming I... game for this, to be honest. I, I mean, oh I'm God, that's farm. close. It was kind of weird. Why are I you mean, nodding at the like, camera? This is not an enjoyable mean? experience. Like, you know, because I, I it's just, a farming game. I like farming games. It's, you know, what what are farming, you farming? farming that could kill you. Holy crap, that's close. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't even know how I was going to start straight today, uh, as per usual. I had a plan, but uh, I feel like abandoning that, that plan once again. You know me, as per I, usual. You abandoned yeah, it last it, minute? It, Did you set it, up it, any kind of mocap for this? Yeah, it yeah, seems no, like you know, you're abandoning. I feel. I mean, I I would abandon look. doing this stream too, honestly. Oh, yeah? Look, 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 dude, dude, dude. I have, I have what I like to call sad boy hours today. So I feel like doing something else today. I, I've had I mean, to play Kirby. This is I'm what like, you're doing, really sad boy hours. This, this, I don't, this I don't is know a know pretty if, drastic step. I don't know if, if this is a good thing to do when you're you're sad. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 It's you like if, you, if your friend it jumps off a cliff with you, but a little, yeah. Holy well, yeah, shit, I guess there's, a, there's a lot of adrenaline you here. feel alive, you know? I, Jesus oh. Christ! Things you can say about your guitar, but not your partner. I can't it's been so this. long since I touched you. I'm never you... gonna be able to touch you again. I'm pretty God. sure I've forgotten. God, I can't wait to break you on stage. It's gonna make me feel so <laughs> awesome when you splinter all over the audience, and I'm gonna hold you so tightly in my <laughs> arms and just grab you and whack you down. It's gonna be great. I like throwing chips inside of it just to hear it jiggle. Good reasons to get a face tattoo. You're on drugs. There's a <laughs> Isn't good that the reason only to get reason? Those? Yeah, the the two reasons are you're a drug dealer who does drugs, or you're a drug addict who does drugs. No okay. one who has a face tattoo hasn't done drugs. Oh, uh, when you want to uh, tattoo like your eyeliner and you don't want to do like the whole oh, yeah. just right there. Oh, genius! I'm just gonna get damage tattoo on my forehead because it'll make <laughs> me the best Joker. For instance, if you never want to forget your social security number, just get that tattooed around your cheek. The IRS auditor comes to Wayne Enterprises. How did you not think we would find out that you were Batman? You hired like 40 contractors to dig out a massive cave under your house that has a lazy Susan for your jet-powered rocket car. Master you just think Wayne. you knew about that? Yeah. Okay, hey, can I can I wear this like extra spandexy one while I'm doing my work? It just it feels nice. Usually I have compression socks, but I forgot mine at home today, and uh, my blood pressure is a little weird. So if I could put this like really really tight suit on and feel kind of cool while I'm doing my really stupid boring job, I would really appreciate it. Okay, listen, don't paint me like a bad guy here. We sent you 32 W9s and 1099s and a few W2s. And I you didn't fill out any of them. You didn't even email us back or write us back, okay? You had plenty of opportunities to Heroes. listen to this was on your income. Heroes yeah. don't do paperwork. All right, ladies and germs, we are playing some Left 4 Dead today, some multiplayer co-op zombie shooting fun, and I invite some friends along for the ride, and we're going to try to see if we can survive a zombie apocalypse so we know how we would fare in the actual event of a zombie apocalypse. Probably not very well, but we're going to try. Don't worry, Master Erebus. We can fit so many, so many um, guns in this bad boy. My new station wagon that I bought for a, for a sweet deal. I could hook you up as well if you would like. 
Oh, oh, a new station wagon? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that'd be helpful for mowing down plenty of hordes of zombies. I mean, yes. I, as long as a zombie slayer is never late, he arrives precisely when he intends to. Oh, oh okay, I see, it I see. It is brand new car! <laughs> Not to worry as well, you have my expertise. We'll make this quick work, just like I did those bastards in Normandy. <laughs> Oh, do you really? have proficiency with firearms? You better believe it. Uh, as long as they're before, like, 1945, uh, I, I still gotta get used to some of the more automatic rifles. Oh, oh, I see. And how's your aim? Very good. I directed seven legions of 300 men. I can't remember if they're called legions, I'll be honest. <laughs> my my memory of the, the military is uh, fading as I get older. Alrighty, I guess we're starting the level. I'll take red. We'll take, uh... I don't know, the 2003 Pontiac? Yeah, that looks alright. If you built it, if, if you built it, he will come. <laughs> oh, yeah. the zombies are coming! Fry, you fools! Yeah, see, the problem- You're brand new car! Oh, uh, well, we can- have a we... problem? Oh, right, whatever. Master this would have never seat. happened in Middle it's Earth. It's gonna be a bumpy night. Night? Oh, <laughs> oh dear! If car salesmen were honest, this thing sucks. Just give me your money. You can fit so many corpses in this bad boy. <laughs> I've fit at least in 13 in that sedan. I promise you, it's been at least two weeks since I came on the glove box. <laughs> Don't worry if it smells like cat piss, that's just Dale. Dale's cool. So, uh, you see how that door was duct taped on there? Yeah, yeah, don't peel that off if you know what's good for you. If people acted like they do in the comment section. You're garbage. Never make music again. Like you walk up to somebody at like an arcade. You're not very good at video games. You fell off. <laughs> you're in a relationship and you're like, man, I miss the days of my old partner. No, it's still you. But like, you know, three years ago, your content changed. Like you just become different. I really miss that. You're not the same person anymore. You don't play Five Nights at Freddy's anymore. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, I figured we'll go back and play some Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. They got a colorful. Yeah, well, they've added some really cool stuff in the update, so I was like, eh, but might as well fuck around with this and see what we can make with it. Did the update oh involve substances by any chance? Because I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of those here. Yeah, the. There's a uh, water tornado! <laughs> a what? A water tornado. Oh god, I don't care what happened to that. I, I cannot, I need to stay away from that. Yes, there are some substances. The game's rating went from an E to an M. They did add the devil's lettuce, but it's fine, okay? Hi, my cuties, it's me. Uh, as usual, you, Cutie Karai. Today, what we're gonna try to do is some more questing in Baldur's Gate. God, when did they add this into Baldur's Gate? Uh, it's oh. part of the new DLC. I do I, believe that they've been working on for a while. Like, well, this seems like we're <laughs> yeah, uh, it looks like it's testing it right now. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That is cool. That'll fuck <laughs> some enemies. It, That's the entire looks... point of it, though. But it's I I can't tell what they're oh, trying to more. do. Is it a weapon? Is it? It's, it's a, a face. face. It's a yes. face. Because after the enemies, when you need them to mark some, so you can find them easier. It's like yeah. the face oh, of God coming down from heaven. <laughs> I did not expect Baldur's Gate to be doing a collab with Tears of the Kingdom, of all things, but uh, it's kind of interesting that the two have intersected in this way. It's me, your girl, Imagine Red, back at it again, you know, variety streamer is all. I'm here to play a game I finally bought, Senkai Dynasty. What that is, I'm gonna be a Japanese boy, making my own village. I don't get a farm. How are you going to make a village in this situation? You're going so fast. <laughs> really you took an intense start yeah, to a farming like, game in a Japanese like village, I have to told, tell you. It's like what Mama always told me. Life is like a box of chocolates. You Holy never know what you're going to get. I mean, this okay. box of chocolates can pop wheelies and do some serious air, so I, this is what you get when well, you make chocolates. I don't, I don't, I don't make know. the choices. I didn't pick my terrain. I got kicked <laughs> out of my last village, so I got to make a new one. I'm running away from this. I mean, I hope that while you're running, running, quote unquote, away, that you have yeah, something to block running. all this dirt from getting in your face. Uh, look, 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 the impact, because okay. you just keep. We, we can, we can build a wall to prevent the landslide. Yeah, no, there's already there's, there's, there's a lot of hills in the area. Yeah. Cool. But, uh, yeah, I'm oh, talking about a miniature clear it. wall for your yeah. face, yeah. Red. No, 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 no. Hey, everybody, uh, I'm coming back with a game that I just started picking up and I'm getting better at thanks to help from other friends who are much better at this game than me. Uh, we're playing Hunt. I'm going to pew pew so good. I, I'm, I'm going to. This is perfect. I'm get to I literally was there for that one. That was. <laughs> what? God damn it. Wait, uh, did you play this match before? Yes. Have you played. I, 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 it looks like you're blowing away the competition. I, it's okay, it's okay. I've got my naggins. I'm ready. 
I mean, I, I didn't tell my dynamite. Did something go up? I mean, I should see a good trail of destruction being left by you. Yeah, I, oh, I, I yeah. just have to ask, is this an... I haven't played Hunt in a while. Is this an update they added to the environments? Um, they did add that new, like, fog update, so things are... This things is are a little more than fog! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, this, they could have... The could... Oh, that's pretty crazy. I didn't... Yeah. yeah, environmental destruction was not something that we had previously. Uh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, hang on, I'm gonna pick up... Hey, let me pick up this martini first. I've, I've got a new gun. Okay, I'm ready, okay, I'm ready, okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. God, I, yeah, I think just stand back. Yeah, oh, this will work now? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm done, let me... Rejected candy heart messages. You're passable. Want some prank? Wood. <laughs> Try again next year. My mom <laughs> said I can't. Everything about you is perfect, except your penis. Small PP gang. <laughs> I don't have that problem. If Cupid went on strike. Nobody is horny anymore. Everybody is vanilla. Uh, it, it's a very toned thing. All blue Twitch and orange YouTube have gone out of business. Uh, Baby, weddings. Please hurt me. <laughs> yeah, please hurt me. I need to feel something. My so... parents' divorce papers would finally go through after 15 years. <laughs> so they're being stopped because some little baby with a love arrow is. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I just thought about it though. There'd be so much discounted chocolate after Valentine's Day though. Cupid, go on strike. Yeah, that's great to know as a di diabetic. Oh! oh dude. <laughs> well, don't you worry. I'll take your portion. Hi! Oh, um, <laughs> I always get really nervous at these. How are you feeling? Hi, I, I, I came as soon as I, I could. Uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. You look super cute. I love your outfit. Oh, you, you look so beautiful. They did, like, your makeup is done so well. Thank you so much. I, um, I just recently bought this product when I was shopping with my grandma to find, um, a dildo for her, which is kind of weird for me to do. But oh. I, I, um, uh, I found a broken one at her house and it was really awkward. And I had to, um, I had to, I had to help grandma out, so I just, I just... <laughs> Wait, are we having a date out here? Yeah, I would, I would, I mean, I don't mind if people watch, do you? Lizzie, I told you, we talked about this. We can't do this out here. I think it's, I think it's okay. I, it's, it's not as bad as it usually could be. Okay, only because it's Valentine's Day, I'll, I'll let it pass, but like, you, you get really freaky, you know? You gotta restrain yourself. I know, I can't help that. We're at least, at it. least I, le at least I left the flexor at home this time. <laughs> I dare listen. Speaking of thirty pounds, though, I gotta ask. Like, Jesus Christ, dude, your pecs, your abs. What is your workout regimen? Well, you see, every day I wake up, but I do a little bit of like crunches in the morning. It's like my little <laughs> warm up routine. You gotta make sure you're ready and ready and to be in shape at yeah. all times. Yeah, I totally understand. So you do like the. Um... Is it One Punch Man? I'm not super familiar with animes, but I know that like I think One Punch Man got really strong just by doing a shitload of exercise. Oh yeah, it was like what was it like a hundred push-ups, a hundred sit-ups, yeah, hundred crunches or something. But then yeah. it really makes you think though, like like okay, who ate all the panties again? Yep. <laughs> like how, how? Like is that like part of this fiber secret of getting all those gains? Yeah, I I like to think it's you know it's the fiber. It, it goes in, it helps keep you full, but there's no calories in it. And mm. I, it's like, my, my dad, you know, was t teaching me important lessons. He's like, son, you're gonna go on a date and you need to remember to press B to cancel. But that's only like a last ditch resort. I feel like it's press B to cancel the fat. To get those gains, you press B to cancel. You go in there and mm. you work mm. out, you put in the time. I was looking mm. around at like the different dishes and stuff they had on the menu, but like, there is so much horseradish here. It's odd that they put the horseradish in bottles that look like horses. I get, is that a French thing? Like, I didn't know if you knew about that. I was trying to figure that out. All right, I, I tend to try to stay away from most things French. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. I, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I have heard they taste like chicken. I'm trying to think what? about all this horseradish. I mean, I have to ask though, do other parts of you taste like chicken? Like if well, we're starting at the legs, we can go up a little bit, you know, does that also taste like chicken or is it just the legs? I think it might only just be the legs. Okay. We, I we know, can like these bad boys, these like my arms, they, I told they got a lot of beef in them. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So it's like one of those charcuterie boards 
but it's got like a bunch of different roasted meats on exactly. it. Exactly. So yeah, but we can figure out. But the of my body are like yeah. underneath the starlit sky, and they've only shared secrets that the moon had promised to keep. God, that's so fucking deep, man. I feel that. Appreciate you sharing those secrets with me, too. I guess since you shared a secret, I could share this, and <laughs> I'm honestly in shock with this. I can't believe you told my mom that she was a MILF. Things you probably shouldn't brag about. Don't say sucking your own Don't say sucking your own Their dick's so small, it's just fucking microscopic, <laughs> just inward. Hey, baby, I'm so good at keeping blood inside my body. Questions that are actually stupid. Is the refrigerator supposed to be plugged in to work? You know, I've done this once before, but should I stick two forks into toasters and see if it turns out any better? How much time do I need to cook a two minute egg? When the honeymoon phase ends. Cheap divorce lawyers. What do you mean we gotta try <laughs> to make a child now? What do you mean we have responsibilities? Do we get back in the honeymoon phase by literally maybe covering ourselves in honey and mooning each other? If I stare at your honey covered ass, is it going to incite some sort of romantic spark in me that's been just like slowly petering out over time? Maybe I mean, it's like it's a little sticky, it's a little golden, it's the golden hour, but it's your golden ass, you know? I just thought you were, I was waiting for you to say something about a sweet ass. I mean, yeah. Well, welcome! To VTuber Rehab, <laughs> I, I understand you all have had a long time and hard time of being a VTuber and, oh, <laughs> imagine. This is actually a true story. I became a VTuber by accident. Um, I had a bunch of friends that I met who were VTubers and I ended up uh, getting an adoptable um, after supporting one of my friends who was an artist. And at first I was like, wow, this is really great. You know, I did it for a while and it was a lot of fun, but it was just such a drain on my spirit and I couldn't get my live 2D model working. Change. So I refused to set up my live 2D model because I didn't want to watch the tutorials that Desi sent. <laughs> you know, kind of the, the final straw was when everybody, every chat that I go into now, knows me as the VTuber who can suck his own Change. And who cannot actually suck his own Change. Well, okay, I can't suck my own And that was just something that a lot of VTubers gave me flack for. <laughs> my so name is Undyna Rashi. I used to be Change. a... Uh, my name is Undyna Rashi. <laughs> I used to be a VTuber on Twitch.tv. Chasing my my best life as a digital waifu on the internet, I I decided I I break new ground and I try something that no VTuber has done before. Um, I bought a throat cam, <laughs> let you see inside of my thrusty real time, and got a digital live 2D rigged throat cam as well, so that uh you could see that thrusty too. So both my thrusty and my 2D waifu thrusty were exposed to the internet for all to see. Hi. I'm Red Mage Lynx, and the whole reason I got into VTube in the first place was to make people laugh. Change. To make people cry. And then I achieved those dreams. Very, very well, actually, because you see, I was known around the pond for my lemon pepper crimes. Change. <laughs> my, my paprika crimes, because you see, it was a long summer day that day where I got myself a lemon in it and I wondered, what if I tried to spice it up? I accidentally knocked over an entire bottle of paprika into it. And instead of getting a new drink like a normal person would, I decided to down the whole thing. And the people wept. They Change. did not want me. The people sang and rejoiced for they did not think I would survive the paprika lemonade. But I did. I was just like, you all once thriving. I was once like no one, no one really. It was just me on my own. I was just a dreamer. Someone who wanted to be above and beyond. Someone who was just wanting to be a silly little anime woman on the Change. internet. A silly little fuck on the internet, you know? No matter what my mom told me, I was like, Mom, I could do this. I could be a little anime woman on the internet. And she was like, you can do this, Cyber. I believe in you. Until suddenly, a very fateful day, I decided that I was going to do a collab 
with certain individuals, I, I suddenly died. We were we were playing the the um, amazing game Dead by Daylight, I enraged enraged with so much emotion that I screamed at the top of my lungs. I'm going to stick a KFC fork in my ass. Change. I'm gonna stick a Chick-fil-A straw up my ass. Change. And I stuck a, <laughs> I stuck a, a McDonald's napkin up my ass. Change. And I stuck a Burger King cup up my ass. Change. And I stuck a Subway sandwich up my ass. And I just, oh, sorry, I got a little emotional there. They they clipped it and they just posted around and now every time that I keep going into people's chats they're like hey aren't you that girl that just said the most ridiculous of things shoving various franchise uh utensils or items up their ass and i was just ashamed just cast it out and from there on forward i just that's that's my tragic that's my tragic uh v2big story what an experience that was also keep her away from this next day it's possible. I don't want those two anywhere near the Whose VTuber was recorded in front of a live Twitch audience on twitch.tv slash Deadly Desiree? If you would like to become part of the action and contribute your suggestions to the show, join us on the live stream every Friday at 8 p.m. EST. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video so we can produce more amazing fun-filled comedy night here at the Sirens Club. We'll see you soon, darlings. Bye!